is going to be a bit of a special week because we're actually going to prepare a meal for Mother's Day. So we're going to be making this for your mom or for any special woman in your life that takes care of you that you really want to celebrate. So we're actually going to be making her a breakfast in bed for Sunday morning, which is Mother's Day. So what's on the menu for this week is sunny side up eggs with toast, cheese, and a side of fruit parfait. To begin, as always, we make sure we wash our hands. I washed mine already. We're putting on our apron if we have one, and we're tying our hair back. We're also going to make sure that the fruit we're going to use, so in this case we're using strawberries, is going to be washed and nice and clean. So for tools, what we have today is our frying pan that we're going to make the sunny side up eggs in. We have a little container for our fruit parfait. We're going to have a spatula for the eggs. We have our knives to cut the cheese and to cut the fruit. And also we have our cutting board so we don't mess up our surfaces. In terms of ingredients, we're gonna have our eggs for our setting side up eggs. We're gonna have some butter or margarine to put in the bottom of the pan, some salt and pepper to put on the eggs, some toast, some cheese to also go at the side. And for our fruit parfait, we're gonna have some strawberries some yogurt and also some granola cereal so let's get started. I'm going to start with the cheese and I'm just going to slice it and then put it in a tin foil or a piece of saran wrap and rest it in the fridge until we're ready to use it so that it can stay nice and cold. So you want to make sure when you're cutting the cheese that you don't cut it towards yourself because if the knife slips then you have a chance of hurting yourself. I'm going to just rest the cheese on my cutting board to stay safe. Take my knife like I usually would and just cut however thick you want your piece and then cut it downward so that way your fingers aren't in the way and your none of your body is in the way and it's the safest way possible. I'm going to cut four slices of cheese and that's how much I'll be using for my plate. So I'm going to put that at the side of my plate beside my toast when I'm ready to serve. So I'm just going to close my cheese. Like I said, I'm going to take a piece of tin foil or saran wrap, it's up to you, and I'm just going to rest my cheese in there and put it in the fridge. Putting that in my fridge for now. And then I'm going to get to cutting the strawberries. I also brought a little bag for my compost as usual. So all my extra waste is going to go in there for now. And then I'll transfer it to my compost. We're going to cut the green part off of the strawberry because we don't want that, right? So you're just going to hold your fingers, take your knife, and you're going to just cut that off, toss it in your compost. And what we're going to do our strawberries this time is we're going to dice them. Okay, so we're going to put them into little pieces. I'm going to put them straight into the bowl that I'm going to be using for my mini parfait. I'm going to have my fingers here. I'm just going to cut the strawberry into slices to begin. Putting my fingers over because that piece is really small. Every slice I'm going to cut into four. I have my full slice over here. And I'm just going to cut it into four pieces like this. And then when that strawberry is done, I'm just going to take all my little pieces and I'm going to put them into the bowl that I'm going to be using for the parfait. And the strawberries go at the bottom. There we go. When my strawberries are finished cutting, I actually only needed about two strawberries to put at the bottom. I put it so it's about a third way full. And I'm going to rest that there. And the next step we're going to do is the yogurt. I'm using just a regular yogurt cup, like the ones you get at the store, and one full yogurt cup should be enough to cover your strawberries. If you have a big yogurt tin like some people do, that's completely fine. Just take maybe about like three or four really big spoons and put just enough to cover the strawberries that you have. And this is vanilla yogurt. I find vanilla works best when you're making a parfait. So make sure it's nice and stirred. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pour it straight on top of my strawberries and make sure it covers it nice and evenly. And then you can just smooth it over. It'll look like this. And granola goes on top, but we're not going to put the granola on yet because if we do it now and then make the eggs, the granola is going to get soggy. I'm just going to put this in the fridge for now and then we'll come back at the end and we'll put the granola cereal on top. Just link to our stove now because it's time to start um, cooking our eggs. So I've already turned the stove on just so that I could heat up and I could get into it right away. But I want you guys to make sure, as always, when you're turning on your stove, that you make sure you have the right burner on. So mine's on the right hand side and it's at the bottom. So I'm going to look for where the dot matches that at the right hand side and at the bottom. And I'm going to turn it 
between four and medium and it should be hot enough now to um, put the butter on it but you guys might want to wait a minute or two um, before you put the butter on. You just want to put enough um, butter on your spatula to coat the bottom of your pan to make sure that nothing sticks to it. Take your egg and you can crack it at on a plate or on your counter um, but you don't want to break the yolk just like that and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna to try to open it gently and put it there just like that perfect so that the yolk is poking up like a sun so I'm gonna take my second egg and I'm gonna do the same thing just like that eggs are cooking because they don't cook for long I'm gonna put my spices on so I'm gonna grab some pepper and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on not too much but enough that you get some good taste in there and then I'm going to do the same exact thing with my salt. So I'm going to take a pinch, just a small pinch, and I'm going to sprinkle it on the eggs. Perfect. So I'm just going to let that cook very, very slowly until the egg whites are fully white. And it's starting to bubble just a little bit around the edges. And while this is going, it's almost done, I'm actually just going to take my toast and I'm going to put it in my toaster. I'm going to take two slices while keeping an eye on my eggs and I'm just going to pop them into the toaster right here. You can turn it as high as you want depending on how mom likes her toast and just push it down and wait for those to cook while you're keeping an eye on your eggs. So I'm going to let these go for a few more seconds and I know some people like when the yolk is very runny then you'd cook it for less. As long as your egg whites are fully white then they're ready. So these are pretty much ready. If I look here it's all nice and bubbly. It has my spices on it, the egg, uh, the egg yolks are nice and sunny looking, so I'm going to turn my stove off and I'm going to very carefully take my spatula and transfer it to my plate. Now if you're doing two eggs at the same time, the whites might get stuck together, so just so you don't spill one, you might want to take your spatula and just bring it in between the two to make sure they're separated. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my spatula, I'm going to hold the handle and I'm gonna slide it right underneath, shake it just a little bit to make sure the egg yolk gets on there. Oh, so we don't wanna break it, but we're gonna try and keep it together to stick it there. I'm gonna do the same thing to my other one. So you're always gonna wanna try and put your spatula where the egg yolk is, cause that's the heaviest part. Transfer it, perfect. And I'm also gonna move my frying pan to the back cause I don't want that to keep cooking. And I'm gonna rest my spatula just right here in a safe spot. But I know it'll be super duper special for mom when she gets it. So I'm gonna it's time to plate everything and finish it up. So my toast are finished. You can put some butter on there if you want to. Um, put the side of your plate. I got my cheese out of the fridge. And I'm going to just rest it at the side of my bread and my eggs. Perfect. And I'm gonna add the finishing touches to my free part. I'm just gonna open my cereal up, grab a handful of that. And I'm going to just sprinkle it right on top. And you want to add enough that it's just covering um, the top of your yogurt. And that's about it, guys. This is our fruit parfait. That's pretty cool looking. Stick it at the side with my fork for mom to eat. If you get her a nice glass of whatever is her favorite thing, that'll definitely complete your meal. So this is your Mother's Day breakfast in bed for your mom or whoever it is that takes care of you that you really want to appreciate and thank for everything that they do. I want to see what you guys do and I also want to know what other special things you guys are doing for Mother's Day. I'm so happy to be cooking with you guys again and until next time. I'm away. I'm away.